This is the quail, and these are quail eggs, and you're getting f***ed. I never cared about money until I lost all my money clothes in my restaurant, so let's talk about it. Eggs and economics. All right, today we're going to talk about Bitcoin and scrambled eggs. Bitcoin can be a very overwhelming topic to try to explain because it's so big. Um, it really is a new, incredible technology that is hard to bring into small components because it's very large. It's as big as the internet or bigger, so to try to bring that down into two minutes is, is difficult for people, and I think it can turn people off in so many ways. So I'm just gonna try to make this super simple, and hopefully uh, I'll break it down in other videos, or if you have questions, I can answer direct questions. A way to think about Bitcoin, which is oversimplifying it, is that it is digital gold. Where in previous videos I talked about hard money, where the best thing about gold is that it's physical, which is also the worst thing about it. So we have a physical gold, which is gold, and now there is this new money, um, which is in a way a digital gold. And, and one of the strongest things that makes gold gold is the rarity of it. Gold is rare, at least on this planet. It's hard to get it, and we've gotten a lot of it already, and we don't get much as we dig in the ground looking for more, we really don't get much every year. So it's a very rare um, metal, which makes it valuable. Um, Bitcoin is the same thing. Bitcoin is extraordinarily rare, easily, the, the rarest thing in, in the world and maybe the universe, I, I, arguably the universe, because there is a set amount and there will never be more. So that, that makes it extraordinarily, or ex extremely rare. Um, so, while well, we're we'll take a break and get to the egg part of this uh, economics thing, uh, when I talk about scrambled eggs or when I make scrambled eggs, there's again hundreds of ways to do it. No right way, no wrong way. Completely depends on preference and dish. Um, if I'm just sitting down to just like eat scrambled eggs in the morning, my preferred method would be that they are soft. Um, so first, I'm just going to start by cracking these quail. Oh, not really cracking these quail eggs, but cutting these quail eggs. So again, the best way I find to do that is to use a serrated knife just to cut, pull open like a top hat, just dump them. And I want to go ahead and give them a mix. This is six quail eggs. This is about an egg and a half. All right, so for this style of uh, scrambled egg where I, I want a soft texture, um, I want to have a cold pan this pan is still a little bit hot, I'm gonna let it cool down. You know, one reason why Bitcoin is so good, why, why being digital is so good, it just makes it really easy to buy and really easy to move and transfer. So, you know, when you saw some of those riots going on in Minneapolis and you know, people's businesses were getting burned down, if they had all their savings in gold or silver, they have to literally pick up all their money and run out of there. Where in Bitcoin, because it's digital, I never physically touch it, I could I could be anywhere in the world and access it. Um, if, I, if I have to move somewhere quickly, I still could have access to my Bitcoin as long as I had my, it, it gets complicated, I'm not gonna explain the whole thing, but as long as you had your password, um, you would still always have access to your Bitcoin 100%. You know, some would say that Bitcoin is a risky investment because, um, because it is a computer code. Uh, you just don't trust it, but it, Bitcoin's been around for quite a long time and a lot of people feel very comfortable uh, holding the majority of their wealth in it. I'm not saying you should do that, but you should probably have a little bit. You know, the, the, because it's so new and because it's so young, it's not accurately priced yet. Like the price is just getting discovered. So you maybe have heard of it a couple years ago when it went wild, it was at $20,000 a Bitcoin. But a few years before that, it was $500 a Bitcoin. So if you bought at that time, that's pretty wild. And right now, Bitcoin is sitting at about $10,000. And I don't think $20,000 is anywhere near the top of, of what that price range is going to be, especially when we factor into what's <clears throat> going on with all the economies around the world and all the inflation. And I'll get into that in other videos. But there is some real stuff going on right now that is only going to make the value of real money, gold, silver, and Bitcoin, go up. And so just the, the asymmetric risk that's involved is outrageous, where let's say you bought a Bitcoin for $10,000.
the absolute most you could lose would be $10,000, and that would suck. But the price that Bitcoin could get to, if it does what it's designed to do, would be quite a bit of money, quite a bit. I'm not going to give you new numbers. You can look at what other people say, but it is a very important technology that is just starting. Okay. So this pan is still a little bit warm. I like to start it cold, but I think it's going to be all right. Um, especially when I'm doing scrambled eggs, I like to use butter. And I'm going to say a good amount of butter is good. So you can see how fast the butter is melting. It tells you that the pan is warm, but not super hot. I'm gonna pour my eggs inside. I am not gonna salt them yet. And then I'm gonna turn my heat on to low. Really like the lowest I can get it. And then I'll just slowly and gently move them around. So I can see that the coagulation is occurring. I can see these little, the eggs starting to thicken up. I'm just gonna be real gentle with it. And this is just like uh, pasta. You can think that when you take it off the pan, it's still gonna cook a little bit more. So you wanna cook it a little bit less than you prefer. So that by, by the time it comes to the table, it'll be right where you want it. So you can see really gently just folding it over on itself, not chopping it too much. It's almost just like big ribbons of egg. And again, this is just my preferred normal scrambled egg. You know, there's a hundred ways to do it. And right now I can see there's still some loose parts to it. And right there, still a tiny bit runny. That's it. That's it. So at this point is when I'll salt and pepper at the top. Just a little. And that's good to go. Really soft, really delicate. Has a nice soft texture. And, and, and for me, Standard scrambled breakfast, standard breakfast scrambled egg. This is the way to be. Just take a second and look at, at the people that are interested in Bitcoin and the people that believe in it. You know, you're going to find the people that are like super anti Bitcoin are older people who don't understand modern technology or people that are still deeply ingrained into traditional finance. The people who were very successful in the old way, in the way that was bullshit and corrupt that's dying right now. When you look at the smart people, I don't want to say it like that, but I am. Um, when you look at the people who are in modern businesses, people who understand technology, they understand Bitcoin and they are betting on it. The people who are right about the internet are the people who are betting on Bitcoin again. So ask me questions, please. I want to answer questions. And uh, have a great day.